hey everyone and welcome back to another cleaning motivation video so as you can see this morning the kitchen is looking rather clean and there's just teacups in the sink i think my mother-in-law last night she um cleaned <laughs> washed the dishes and cleaned the stove and wiped down the countertops and yeah so basically this morning when i came back from school my job was just to do some housekeeping in the lounge and dining room and then go and clean in the bathroom because it was looking a disaster in there so um at least i'll spend about an hour and a half cleaning these spaces because when i have to do the dishes as well it usually takes me about two and a half to three hours because i like to be my thorough with my cleaning even if it's not deep cleaning but i really really like to be thorough when i'm cleaning so that's why it will take me that much but because today the kitchen is already done i just need to do the floor there uh, it will take me about an hour at least to do everything else so i'm just doing some housekeeping in the lounge and dining room and then i will go and clean the toilet or the bathroom before i continue and finish with the with the floors enjoy and i'll speak to you guys later on
right so I am done with the sweeping um, the lounge and the dining room and now I'm about to go and clean in the bathroom and today I'm just gonna be using a handy handy uh, in the bathroom and also for the floors and I'm using this cream pot pourri um, handy handy 100% um tough dirt and grease removal i love the smell of this handy andy um and i'm so glad that handy andy is now moving into more natural um feel <laughs> of um you know uh, uh cleaning detergents so i will be using that today um it still has ammonia you know handy andy however they are I'm, I'm, I'm thinking they are trying their best to make things a little bit more um, what forgiving to the hands or to the skin um, because I'm one of those people that don't really use well I don't use gloves when I'm cleaning um, but like I said before in my videos that I like to use handy handy when I'm doing my deep cleanings and stuff like that and um, yeah so I'm here now in the bathroom and yeah I just rinsed everything this morning rushed through so that my child can use the bathroom but um, now that I'm back I'm gonna be doing some deep cleaning in the bathroom well not some deep cleaning but thorough cleaning as you can see the ants again are digging through the walls around this bath uh, as you can see there was soil there it's the ants down here on the floor is the ants digging on the walls and yeah so I will have to sweep here as well before I actually start with the floor so I'll do that after I'm done uh, cleaning the, the bath and the, the, the sink the facilities and then um, the other thing is you guys will see that I will be using a mop to clean the bath and the reason for that is that we don't really use the bath like we hardly we don't let me not even say hardly we don't use the bath to sit inside like you would relax and use the bath we just use the bath to maybe if we have um, something big to wash or if we're going to take a shower okay so we just stand and we take a shower inside the bath because the shower is there so that's why i don't even bother myself you know um using elbow grease cleaning this so i'm just going to use um the 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 mop and it does work it cleans it nice perfectly and then i just wipe with the cloth um at the top of the bath but otherwise that is the reason why i'm using a mop guys i'm not about to dig deep in there <laughs> um yeah so that's what i'm doing right now
we keep the a sanitizer here in the bathroom uh, just close to the sink when you're done washing your hands you can sanitize your hands as well so I'm gonna be using this um, 25 is it a 5 liter sorry 5 liter from Beat First. it's a hand sanitizer hand and surface sanitizer and I'm just gonna put it in that bottle in that spray bottle and then I'm just going to place it close to the sink for anyone who wants to use a sanitizer um, honestly I don't know why but this is how it is here so I'm keeping with that tradition and I'm just using a tissue paper and the sanitizer to clean the, the seat of the toilet um, and then after this I will just sweep the floor and then I will go and start um, with the floors in the lounge and dining room um yeah so basically i will speak to you guys a little later on again just an update on the cleaning
so guys like about three weeks ago something tragic just happened and i know to some people it might not be a big deal but for me it is because i love animals and you know that i loved that brown little puppy over there he passed away guys like three weeks ago he was the first one to go and then followed by bubbles bubbles is the one that always jumps and you know you see his head popping at the door i had that video some time ago um uh, you'll see him here as well he'll, he'll appear here and then that black and white one that was the last one to go so we currently have three dogs left and those three they passed away i think they said it was a cat flu cat flu something like that but it was guys it was so 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 sad and they were in so much pain there's bubbles that one day that's bubbles he also passed away so it was really really sad so those three, three in front those are the ones that passed away and then um yeah we have three dogs left now so it was really really sad um the past three weeks just before um i think weeks before easter so yeah that is the update so now i'm just rinsing this mop before i hang it I usually like to hang it they by the uh, washing line just for it to just uh, be dry i don't like to keep a wet mop inside the house so that's it guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in another one bye